Donald Trump, the future president of the United States, has an interest in seeing Israel deliver a crushing blow to Iran. At the same time, he hopes the Middle Eastern conflict ends before his inauguration, states Zvi Zilba, editor-in-chief of Best Radio Israel, in a comment to the YouTube channel RBC Ukraine. Judging by the publications that have already been released, Trump has an interest in seeing Israel deliver a crushing blow to Iran. Trump dislikes Iran, especially in light of the fact that Iran has twice attempted to assassinate him. Trump is the kind of person who doesn't forgive such things, said Zilba. He noted that unlike the Biden administration, Trump supports strikes on Iran's nuclear and oil facilities. On the other hand, according to the journalist, Trump wants Israel to end the war before his inauguration. He doesn't want to inherit this war. He wants to enter the White House after it's over when the future of the Middle East will be decided internationally. That's when Trump will come with the full power and potential of the US, he said. As previously reported, Donald Trump is preparing a strategy to increase pressure on Iran. It includes sharply intensified sanctions and restrictions on oil sales. Sources familiar with his early steps say the plan aims to halt Iran's support for groups in the Middle East and curb the country's nuclear program. Recall the Israeli Air Force, including air defense and intelligence services, remains on high alert. In parallel, there is cooperation with the US and other countries. Dozens of US fighter jets and B-52 strategic bombers have already arrived in the region and joined the large US force that is here both to deter Iran and to help intercept a possible Iranian drone and missile attack. Iran's goal is to respond without provoking Israel into a harsh response that would destroy oil or nuclear facilities. Therefore, much of the response is likely to come from within Iraq by Iran's subordinate Iraqi militias. Israel, for its part, has directly threatened Iraq in recent days. If we are attacked from your territory, we will destroy targets from you as well. It should be noted that Israel's air defense system has demonstrated great effectiveness over the past year in repelling threats from Iraq, intercepting more than 95% of all targets launched from there, both drones and missiles. COP28 President Sultan Ahmed Al Jaber opened the 29th session of the Conference of the Parties by expressing gratitude to delegates for their commitment to addressing global climate challenges. In his remarks, Al Jaber emphasized unity, action, and the UAE's dedication to fostering partnerships and dialogue amid global complexity and conflict. He urged attendees to continue working together to deliver meaningful result. Assalamu alaikum. Distinguished delegates, it gives me great pleasure to declare open the 29th session of the Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Your Excellencies, colleagues, friends, and members of every delegation. It is a great pleasure to join you here in Baku for the opening of COP29. And let me begin by thanking our hosts for their warm welcome and generous hospitality. And allow me to extend my gratitude to every person in this room. By being here today, you have all made a choice to make a difference. And as I prepare to hand over the COP presidency, I urge you all to prove once again that we can unite, act, and deliver. <clears throat> Excellencies, friends, we meet at a time of complexity and conflict. And against this backdrop, allow me to say that we in the United Arab Emirates will always choose partnership over polarization, dialogue over division, and peace over provocation. 
The Ukrainian Security Service and Special Operations Forces prevented the advance of the invading Russian army in the direction of Pokrovsk, Donetsk region. Drones and artillery strikes were launched against the advancing invaders with a large number of armored combat vehicles, artillery installations, military vehicles and trucks carrying ammunition. As a result, equipment and a lot of ammunition were detonated and disabled. Most of the infantry soldiers who participated in the attack were destroyed along with their equipment. The survivors tried to escape with the wounded, but many did not succeed. Thank you. 